Here's Bazor. Nice little dribble dribble. Near post strike. There it is. Nice little goal with him. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. We already did the Eredivisie uh, player review for the other card. Now for today's video, or for this video, we're going to be doing Bazor's card. So, this card's very interesting because I slapped a shadow card on him. And this is going to be something that I'm going to have to view in the actual game, right? Because, as you guys know, some players that don't have crazy good defensive stats can still defend really well, right? Especially if you give them an anchor card or a shadow card, because as you guys know, transitioning with players left and right, uh, interceptions from certain areas, the players still do a really good job at. A very big example of that is Adama Traore's card in the right wing back position. That card actually does very, very good, uh, a very good job uh, defensively for you in a general sense. Like, if I were to play foot champs consistently and I were to have that red card, he would have been a very good right back to have. And to be honest with you guys, I would have actually preferred him over Kyle Walker and uh, Juan Cancelo. So that says a lot about the card, right? So this card right here, he has very, like, Seedorf type of characteristics, right? We're looking at someone who is six foot tall with a four-star weak foot and medium-medium work rates, right? If you look at Clarence Seedorf's type of card, very similar, but he has the four star skill moves, right? But he is also a player that's medium, medium, but he is five foot nine. So I don't know. I, I just feel like there's like, uh, like this similarity to these cards because of the fact that we're looking at a card that doesn't have crazy defending, although Seedorf does have the interceptions at the very least and a little bit better standing tackles and defensive awareness, which in my opinion can be a huge thing. Uh, but it's definitely going to be very, very um, interesting to compare the cards, right? So we're going to be looking at it from a shadow perspective right now. This card, I definitely need to put the chemistry style on it to see which one I prefer. He will be playing in the CDM position for me. So I'll show you guys how he will be lined up in game. We have a nice little 4-3-3 setup here. This account, I try to nerf it a little bit more, uh, but he doesn't have that many players that can link up in a certain way that are very generic cards. So we're going to be trying him out next to uh, Alon's card. So it's going to be a good test of seeing what that six foot physical presence is like because we're looking at a card that has very good physical stats as well right so the defensive stats being improved with the shadow card could be a very very bene a very beneficial thing because we're also looking at someone that can dribble really quickly on the ball considering that he is six foot tall so it's going to be a very very interesting card to check out we're going to be using the same generic custom tactics that we have been using generally speaking so we're looking at the four two three one custom tactics in general and then we're going to be using uh, Bazor's card on stay back while attacking with cover center. Notice how I am playing him in the left center defensive mid position because we want to utilize that four star weak foot as much as possible. So that's what we're going to be aiming uh, to work with in regards to that card. So we're going to go ahead and get into a game with this card. We're going to see how he plays and I'm going to tell you guys if the pace boost is the most ideal situation or if it's better to give him a different chemistry style because his defensive boost with this shadow card uh, may not be worth it in general. So let's get into a game and see how he plays. All right, guys, so we decided to change up the team just a little bit because of the fact that uh, Coleman is just a terrible, terrible card to have in this game. So we're going to have Diego Carlos and Juan Jesus as the two center backs in the team instead with Promise playing on the left side. So in game, obviously, it's gonna, he's going to be switched to one of the uh, left attacking mids or right attacking mids. Be in for some entertainment. Now, let's see what they can do here. Bazor positioned well in the midfield area. I like his positioning because it's 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 very noticeable because he's a medium medium work rated player, uh, so he definitely likes to stay in line with the CDM. This guy's gonna be playing with all his players dropped back, so we're gonna have to try to break it down somehow. There you go. Work the space a little bit. There you go. That you know, I gotta gotta find a way to beat, beat these types of guys, right? So nice little fake shot. Composure in the dribbling, waiting for the extra space. Kaka with a nice little opening, just a nice little power strike to the right side for the goal scoring opportunity. So far, Bazor's off the ball movement. Uh, in regards to him being a medium medium work rated player next to a medium high work rated player, it's pretty solid. Even right now, you can see that the way that he's positioned with the other CDM is in line. So now I have to switch to him. 
There you go. Nice little pace there. Pace was very, very noticeable in that situation with this card. That's where that's where you kind of like uh, that's where you kind of like take a hint in regards to like maybe I want the shadow card on him, maybe I don't. You could see that in that transition play, it was very important to have the shadow card on his card uh, to be able to intercept the ball there. Good pass by Bazor there. Going to open up the space a little bit. Compo I, I guess that's like a composure thing where Pirlo loses the ball in that situation. I liked his off-the-ball positioning when I'm on stay back while attacking cover center. I think he occupies that space really well. Little pass right there. Kaz opened up. Nice little pass to Pirlo. Nice little dribble, dribble. Go down. Cut back up. Get that near post angle. There it is. You don't want to overcommit, right? Like I said, you don't want to overcommit to certain positions because people always think you're going to take that shot instantly, right? And, I, you know, I did the review on Kaka's card and uh, I thought he was a really good cam, but I actually feel like he's a better striker up top, right? It's um, definitely working out really nicely right now. Obviously, it's a little more difficult to review the midfielders. That's why when you look at midfielders, you look at defensive presence, you look at off the ball movements uh, when the opponent is attacking against you and whatnot. That's how you really judge if a, a midfielder is really good or not can't really judge him off attacking play because that's not what um i want my midfielders to do if you guys want to use uh bazo on your team you may obviously want to use him as an actual midfielder which he would be pretty solid at because as a center mid with that four star weak foot it's obviously very very beneficial to have uh in a general sense so Oh, that's an interesting pass. Kaka. Pirlo. Oh, that was a lovely goal. Lovely little build-up play right there. Nice little fake shot to get that small little angle. Pirlo with his great passing, no matter what angle he's from, lays the ball off to Lozano. And Lozano does a very good first-time strike. I'm very happy that I actually scored that opportunity. And that's going to be a rage quit. So we're going to go ahead and play another game with him. So far, I really like his off-the-ball movement and uh, on-the-ball movement. He's not super agile on the ball because obviously his height with those dribbling stats is definitely uh, a noticeable thing. He's not like super, super agile. But it's really nice to have that four-star weak foot on the left side to transition forward on the attack. Um, I am noticing that he's not a crazy defensive oriented player which is very obvious because even with the shadow chemistry style boost uh he's not a really defensive oriented player so in that regard by itself i wouldn't necessarily use the card in my actual teams because of that lack of defensive presence for the two cdm area because i personally think that the two cdm area is probably the most vital position on the pitch and when you're when both of them don't move that well together it's not necessarily an ideal situation to have but everything around that part of his game plan um i think is very good and like I said, I think if you guys give him a shadow card, it, the pace increase is the one that's like the most noticeable. But it does seem so far that he would be best utilized as an actual center mid in a right center mid position or a left center mid position. But that's just not the play style that I play. Um, I think if you were to use him in a 4-1-4-1 formation uh, and he's one of your center mids, I think there he would definitely be a very good card to have in the team for sure. So... Um, but we're going to be trying him out as a CDM again. Uh, but that's what I'm, I'm noticing with the cards so far in regards to him being a midfielder. We have coming up for you is a rival's game to look forward to. So many storylines. Nice little the interception there at Bazor. Are really excited about this one. Looking forward to some entertainment. Yeah, I like that positioning that he does when, when he's off the ball. Like, he kind of, like, approaches me, right? Like, he definitely, he definitely has the characteristics of, uh, of a center mid for sure. The way that he definitely feels is, is that of a center mid. Look at Bazor's positioning. See, this, this this part of the CDMs is what I like the most, is when they're positioned a certain way, which he definitely does. There it is. You worked that little angle right there, right? The goal, you know when your goalkeeper is standing like that, it's not necessarily the ideal situation. This guy is definitely going to leave from this game too, I think. So we're probably going to have to play another game. Hopefully he doesn't. Here's Bazaar again. We're going to do some nice little skimmels to get past the opponent. Nice little skimmels right there too. Ball roll. Uses physical presence. That's the best thing, right? Is when you do the ball roll, instantly holds shield, uh, the shielding button so that you can kind of put the ball in a certain direction while, you're, while your body is in front of it. 
Now we're gonna open up the space here for Bazor. A little touch. Don't overcommit. There it is. It opens up the space for us nice, nicely right there. With Kaka to the near post. Ooh, the f second fake shot was heavy because of those uh, consecutive skill moves. Definitely have to uh, consider that as well. Just not looking confident in possession. Good defensive presence with Bazor. That specific tackle I don't like. That's the uh, that's the animation that I always talk about in regards to the specific tackles that center backs make. Uh, that's the one I don't necessarily like. It's kind of like when they go over the ball. So he definitely has that in his locker to do. But in that situation, it definitely worked out. But you could see that it, the way that he tackles the ball to receive possession of the ball uh, is not necessarily the most ideal situation. Quadra is going to make this little run right here. Pirlo. Bazor is going to be in the little opening right here. We're going to shield again. First time pass, cut back out. Nice little Mbappe skill move. Ooh, he gets the ball around me there. Oh, good tackle there, Abazor. Let's use the ball roll. Nice. We lose the ball there for my own fault, so not really his own doing. But you could see that his dribbling is not necessarily like the most responsive. Um, so, I, so what I'm seeing so far with this card, right, is I think he would be a sick card if you were to give him an engine in a center mid position, or maybe even in the CDM position. I just think that the little pace boost that he gets on the card um, is important. But uh, from what I'm seeing so far, from how he's playing in game, um, his off the ball movement is really good, but you can tell that he doesn't want to be uh, a defensive oriented midfielder, right? So I think that if you were to use him in the center mid position, generally speaking, I think he would be a little better. But you can see right there, look, his off the ball movement is very, very good. But um, almost seems like he has no no real interest to defend, right? Uh, even with the shadow chemistry style. But he definitely feels usable in the position. Little layoff there at Pirlo. Let's see if someone else transitions on the outside. There's Bazor. We'll do a fake shot on the outside. Cut back inside. Get that shot off. And he hits the post. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's the one you're looking for. See, when the goalie starts to push out at you, man, it's never worth just shooting the ball instantly because he's already too close to you, right? So doing the ball roll touch, I always keep saying it, man, but it's just the most ideal situation. Good little tackle there with Bazor. They've regained possession. Oh, beautiful. You always got to work those extra spaces, man. So we get the nice little touch there. Cross body goal. Nothing really to say much about Bazaar, man. I think he would definitely be a more noticeable presence in the team in regards to general off the ball and on the ball movement if he's a center mid, man. But as a center as a center defensive mid, he definitely feels usable. But if you're going to you if you're going to want to get the card specifically for that reason, I wouldn't recommend getting him as a center defensive mid uh, by itself. Here's Bazor. Nice little dribble dribble. Near post strike. There it is. Nice little goal with him. Nice. I wait just to see if he wants to block that near post or that far post. And that's when we take all the extra touches. Alright guys, so final verdict on the card. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a usable CDM. Very usable CDM, right? It's just that he doesn't... He doesn't feel like a defensive mid. You can tell that this guy wants to play in the general midfield. He wants to be able to utilize uh, all the space around the pitch. So I really think that if you use like a 4-4-2 formation and you're playing him in the center mid position, that's where I think this card is best utilized in the center mid position. I was using a shadow chemistry style on him and that didn't help with the concept of me wanting him a better, wanting him to be a better defensive mid position but, or, or, or defensive mid player. But like I said, guys, you can use him there and he'll be okay in that general position. He'll make the tackles from time to time. Um, it's just that I wouldn't personally prefer him in that general space. Now, if you do use him in the midfield area, especially the center mid one, I think you should give him an engine card. Some people are going to be like, why would you give him an engine? The reason why I think you should give him an engine is because he's six foot tall and he doesn't feel super responsive in it yet. Now, again, this could be because the gameplay wasn't necessarily up to par or it could just be his card himself. But he already has 86 composure 
right with very good dribbling stats but he is six foot tall so that's going to affect his dribbling stats in a general sense so i think if you give him an engine card and you're giving him 92 acceleration 92 sprint speed with great dribbling stats and even better passing stats i think he would make a very very good center mid for you we're looking at a card that also has 73 finishing so if that bothers you specifically and you think his dribbling is good enough and you think the dribbling was only the way it was because the gameplay wasn't up to par that's when you give the card a nice little marksman right if you give him a marksman you're looking at increased physical so i think the marksman's actually the best card to give him you give him increased physical stats increased dribbling stats and the shooting boost because his pace being 87 being 87 in, in regards to acceleration and sprint speed is already very very good so Maybe Marksman's the best thing to give on him, but don't expect this card to be a crazy defensive mid presence for you. He'll we he will be decent defensively because that's how card is in the, cards are in this game in general. But I wouldn't necessarily get this card in the thoughts of getting him as a center defensive mid. So that's just my opinion on the card. He's really fun to use in a general sense. Like I said, I enjoy using cards that are usable. I, I put them in that tier, right? Is the usable type of cards. And I really, really enjoyed my time with this card. I think he was uh, a ton of fun to use in game. So if you guys want to get the card in regards to that, be sure to do so. But that is going to conclude the video for today, guys, in regards to the player reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching both of them. I do have the other one as well that we uploaded earlier, and I will catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.